What's up, Wargamers? Welcome back to World of Wargaming. I'm Isaiah. Today we're going to dig deeper into the escapades of our Majestic 13 team as they take on the Cannonade, an alien menace bent on mainly just blowing stuff all the way to heck. Let's go take a look at the board, the scenario, all that good stuff, and let's get into this game of Majestic 13. All right, friends. So here we are. We've been called out to this somewhere in the Great Sandbox. We've got a cannonade that's shown up. My food bar. It was originally, it was originally hey. we thought we were coming out here to deal with a warping crawler. However, upon arrival on the scene, we, due to the bureaucracy of everything, realized that we've received incorrect intel. So we are, in fact, dealing with a cannonade, which is just a big, dumb, bash them up, shoot them up alien. He ended up up here. I kind of randomized where to put the alien in his half of the table. Uh, so I rolled 3d6 for the X and then, or no, for the Y and then 66 for the X and then just kind of gridded out that half of the table and plunked them down right there. Secondary objective is beacon drop. So we have two objectives, one in the middle of each of the enemy board sections. We just need to come into contact with it over the course of the game. As always, we have five turns. It is an urban environment, so I have a plus five bonus to my acuity score. So we'll, let me work out and see who's going to go first. Before I figure out who goes first, let's roll the foobar. See if that happens yet. No foobar yet, because two plus turn one is not six or greater. Even with my bonus, I can't get higher than the cannonade. However, because everybody's hidden and because there's nobody in his line of sight to try to spot, he'll just kind of shuffle over to try to grab a little bit of cover, because he cannot currently see anyone because of where I positioned and deployed comes to me I'm going to do some mood and shit. we're definitely going to be taking some shots here for sure but I'm also I got to get over there to that objective so I think DJ is going to start heading that way and some other people are going to position and take some shots it to here Alexander is just going to move over a little bit and pop a shot at the over here, so I do have to roll two dice and take the lowest. Old school disadvantage style. That's a five. Probably not going to hit. Because I missed and it's a Ravager, it will then shoot at me with its basic attack, which is the blast. So it's a single attack. Let's see if he hits. I have cover, so he will have to roll two dice. Take low. That's a five. That might yes. miss. That will miss me because that comes to a 25 with their combat 20. So then I can continue some of, that, some of those activations out of order. My apologies. Stay in put. That's why I didn't say anything for him. Um, I got DJ and Alexander back backwards. My apologies. We'll go with Maui. He's going to move up to the edge and shoot down at him. Scope, so he ignores cover. And it's, I was hidden, so it would technically be a surprise attack, so I crit on a 19 or a 20. Beautiful work, Maui. Six, and it's double whatever I roll here. Give me something good. Oh, that's pretty good. So that's 12. 20 times 2 is 40 damage in that lick. We're doing a little bit of rerouting here, sending Ghost over that way to grab the objective, and I'm going to be pulling DJ back this way because DJ has a much, much, much better combat rating than Ghost does, which will bring us back to the monster, the alien, for its activation. The cannonade is activating outside of one inch of all enemies, but has two inches within 12. So it will use leveling blasts. So I have to make some dexterity saves on Maui and on Alexander. So for Alexander, 11. And Alexander's dex is now up to 10, so that's a pass. And then for Maui, oh, that's probably gonna be dexterity 14. Yes, that is a fail so he will take 1d6 damage and or 1d6 plus 6 and be blind so 10 damage and he's blind 8 damage because of my armor and dermal implants okay and then that'll do it for turn 1 we will wrap over to turn 2 where bad guy gets to go first Not real quick who he swings at so an even will be Maui up on the roof he will shoot at Maui Maui does have cover because he's on the roof though just gonna be shooting his basic blast attack 
Ooh, a 9 is probably going to hit. A 9 does not hit because they're combat 20, and I have defense 30. So, miss. That's great for me. Just move up, tuck in behind the van. Oleg Zonder will take the next shot. Um, he's... Doesn't have any statuses to clear, but he's going to move up where he's still kind of grabbing some corner off the cover of that building. And then he's going to take a shot at the bad guy. That's definitely a miss. Then, because I missed with a ranged attack, the alien will get to activate. And it will now, because during its last... Oh, no, it activates with its basic attack when, when, when this happens. So it will blast, try to blast Alexander. Still in cover. That's, that's definitely going to hit me. This is 46 plus 3 damage. Roll low. You didn't roll low. 9, 13, 16 minus 2, 14 damage, and I have to take a fortitude test. That should be a pass because it's target number 20. The DJ will move over to the corner and take a shot as well. Oh, that's unfortunate. He has cover because I don't have a scope. And, oh, bummer. Bummer, because that's a one. Bummer. I will then activate and react. This will be its last activation for the round, because it can't activate more than three times. And that's a miss. All right. Maui, who has to make a dex check to try to clear his condition. Target number 20. He does not, because he, is, he needed a six or better there. So he's just sitting there blind. Ghost will just move. To the objective. Turn three, where Big Boy is going to activate first with a leveling blast, which is going to hit quite a few people this time. So that's going to hit absolutely everybody. <laughs> okay, let's get into some checks. Charity checks for DJ with Dex 13. He's good. For Maui, oh no, he automatically fails Dex checks because he's blind, so he'll take that damage. For Alexander. He's going to fail for Fenrir. He's going to pass. And then some damage. 1d6 plus 6. So for Alexander, it's going to be 7, 5 damage. And for Maui, going to be 7, 5 damage. Fenrir is going to push up behind Alexander to use a med kit. For 1d6 plus 4, that's pretty good. That's 10 damage healed. Alexander is blind, so he has to try to clear a condition. 13 plus his dex 10. That'll clear. He will take a shot. Mine is a miss because I'm minus 2 to my combat from the, the assault rifle. Uh, alien will shoot back at me and hit. This is a big chunk of damage here. Okay, he didn't do that well. So two, four, six, nine, minus two, seven damage. Okay, we'll then take his shot. Jeez Louise. Rolling a one on the disadvantage is not good. He's the second time he's done that. Shoot back. And misses. Also, I have to come back. So Fenrir is going to have to take a dex test there from that blast attack from the guy. And he fails, so he'll take 2d6 plus something damage. So fast. Other friends within six inches also potentially take damage, and I failed both of the dex checks. So Fenrir takes five, and DJ takes ten. But at least the alien is out of activations, I guess. That's something. We'll try to clear his condition. He does. He'll take a shot. 15 is going to hit. So 46. 6, 10, 12 damage. He's going to start moving back this way, and on his way, he's going to try to call some aid. 2 plus turn 3 does not call it in. I need a 6. It'll activate, and it'll do its leveling blast. For Maui, he's good. For Alexander, he's good. For Fenrir, he's good. For DJ, he's good. All right, let's go. 
Uh, Fenrir is next. He's going to medkit on Augsander again. So D6 plus four. Another ten off. That will take the shots. He's he's got to get there eventually, right? Nope. That's a miss. So <laughs> homeboy will shoot back at me. Let's hope he misses. He does. Outstanding. DJ's gonna move, jump over to this side of the van, and take his shot. That's caught. Come on. That was a twelve, but it doesn't matter because the five is lower than a twelve. But yeah, it's a miss because I need like a seven or so to hit as, as the lower number. So he's going to shoot back at me. And miss on an eight. Lucky me. Because his basic blast, this basic attack is pretty powerful. Maui. Who's going to miss. Combat 17, but the explosive launcher is minus four. So the seven would go to a... Three, which would put me at a 20. So I was one shy of hitting there. And the alien will retaliate. And miss. Due to my cover. And we're going to have... Ghost... Come to a position here. And then try to call for aid. Or at least try to get this drone strike off on him. Drone strike comes in. Combat 21. Okay, then. No drone strike. That's a Last thing. turn. Um, alien cannonade goes first. And it'll start with blast. It's leveling blast attack because the last time it activated, it just used its basic attack. So, that's going to hit everybody. So, we'll start with Maui. He's good. Fenrir. Ooh. Fenrir is not good. Yeah, Fenrir's not good. Alexander. Cocked. Not good. Ghost. Not good. Uh, DJ. Good. So these three right here are going to get whacked. What about the blind state, also take 1d6 plus 6 damage. So Fenrir takes 10. Ghost takes 10. And... Alexander takes seven. It comes to me, and we'll start with Fenrir. Try to clear his condition. He does not clear his condition, and he's just going to try to get as far away as possible. Okay. We'll take a shot. He misses horribly. Homeboy gets to try to blast back at him. And hits, unfortunately. That's 46. Oh, Jesus. Good roll, too. Um... 46 plus 3, I believe. 10, 14, 17, 20, minus 2, 18 damage. That will take DJ down. With the rest of my activations, I'm just going to be running away. I'm just going to get as far away from it as I can. There's no way that I'm going to be able to take enough damage off of this thing to kill it. So we're just going to go ahead and call that. We're going to go to our post game and see. Because I'm not going to shoot at it anymore. And when it activates, it's not going to be within range or line of sight to have a shot on me. So there's nothing there that, that I'm skipping over. We have to make an injury and death roll, so this is a 3d6 roll, and we compare it to the chart. So we got a 5. Yeah. He is dead. However, trained agents are too valuable to just leave it to chance in the field. So we have, everybody has their DNA and brain information backed up. So we're going to roll 2d6 here. We got an 11. So we compare that. So we compare that to the chart, which is something's off. I'm restored successfully, and I'm restored to my roster, but must randomly select one stat and reduce it by 1d6. A different stat is then randomly selected and increased by 1d6. Four stats, so we'll do a d4. So three, so my dexterity, oh God, is gonna go down by d6. Whew. Okay, only by two. Else. My acuity is going to go up by D6. Hopefully I get a big roll here. Five, okay. 
XP-wise, um, everybody except DJ will get 3 XP, DJ will get 2. Which means everybody will get a bump except DJ. And then we are prepped and ready. We're now team rating 3, which means the next time we play, it will be one of the, it'll be the first of the special scenarios that happen on multiples of 3. But until then, thanks for tuning in and hanging out while we play some Majestic 13 today. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. And as always, I'd like to say a big, huge, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel, go over there, check out the link in the description, check out the Patreon. There's a lot of cool stuff over there, including access to our Discord server, talk to me, hang out with me, talk about our work, what we got going on in the hobby. Um, some shout outs, all kinds of cool stuff. Check it out if that's something that you think you would be into. And regardless of whether or not you do that, I want you to know that I am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today, rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor.